but it was a foundation maybe of a friendship with some uh, uh, podcast luminaries that Joe was rubbing elbows with uh, just a couple or just last week. Yeah, just last week. Uh, double toasted. I, 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 I'm all over the place with this. I'm not really sure where to begin here, but uh, Joe, we talked about it briefly in the beginning. You're a huge fan of the double toasted uh, podcast series, podcast channel, Corey Coleman site. Uh, and you got to do something pretty once in a lifetime over here. Talk about where you were, how this happened, how you got to appear on one of your favorite like podcast network shows. Um, a lot of people who are double toasted fans, if you're lucky enough to be in Austin at the right place, at the right time, Corey will invite you on the show. If you email him ahead of time, you guys work out stuff and and whatnot but Corey's a very busy man and so is Martin that oftentimes those emails get well they get buried underneath the other 20 people that want to come to Austin and hang out with them as well as people sending them videos to react to or asking their thoughts about a movie and stuff like that or suggestions for retro movie reviews and bad movie reviews so it's really hard to get on this show and everything I got lucky due to one of the recent co-hosts that they brought on if you've been keeping up with Double Toasted they've had like other co-hosts besides uh, him and Martin, uh, Corey Coleman and Martin Thomas, I should say. Uh, they had Corey Goodwin and Patrick Gertz. They had Chris Herman. Uh, they had, uh, 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 um, oh my God, what's her name? Uh, Sammy Daniella? Gonzalez. and da- oh, Yeah, okay. Daniela. I, I don't know why I said her name and I said Sammy Gonzalez. But yeah, like Ray is another one. He's an, Now he's a rapper and everything. Good music too. Look him up. Um, uh, today it's Julian and Billy Brooks, who Billy was on spill for like the longest time, but then took a break and then has been coming back now on Double Toasted. Um, he's only on once a week. And Julian Green, who is only involved really with the movie reviews because he's a critic himself as well. Um, I found him at the convention I was at while I was away last week. Last week I went to a convention for uh, the, it's called the ICMA. It's the International City Managers Association. And annually, they host this convention where they pull managers from cities all over the world to come to the center and, like, you know, they take workshops together and share things that they've done uh, throughout the year. Or, you know, they have vendors there to showcase, like, hey, here's our new software that can help you with this. Or, you know, here's a trash collecting company that builds trash uh, bins underground so that way rats don't emerge. You know, they, they built it under cement and it lifts up and it carries over the guard. It's a cool, it's a really cool convention in my field um it's really what i mean like it's awesome that it's all funded by private corporations that just want to sell to government <laughs> like amazon and all this stuff like you know they they're big sponsors of the event that's why they're able to like afford like cool convention centers in like austin and everything uh my school sent me out there i got to go out there for free under my school it comes with my tuition so i'm like you damn right i'm gonna use that thing <laughs> um and while i was walking around the convention hall i saw julian green um and it turns out, I, I never knew this about him, um, but he basically does AV equipment uh, like uh, stuff for like conventions and concerts and stuff like that. And he was handling the stuff at this convention center. Um, it's a hell of a gig. It, it is, yeah. And he gets to travel a lot. He was telling me all this. Actually, funny enough, when I was bumping into him, he was watching uh, Loki Season 2 because uh, they were getting ready for the review. So he was like catching up on that while at work because he told me, he's like, all I had to do was set up two cameras today, and I just been kind of walking around this convention hall watching uh, Loki season two, getting ready for the review. But I bumped into him. He, I told him I'm a big fan of Double Toasted. I like, you know, I told him like, you know, I love all your stuff that you've been doing recently on the show and everything. And he told me he's like, "Do you want to come on the show tonight? We're reviewing Saw X." And I went, uh, "Yeah." <laughs> and so, uh, what he, a hero, <laughs> Julian! Oh, God damn. Uh, I was like, are you what sure? Ticket, I'm like, because at the time, uh, Corey was in New York City. Uh, he just got done doing a stand-up show there. He's starting to do stand-up now on the side uh, when he's not doing the Double Toasted podcast with another co-host called Oz Green who lives out in New York City. Um, and he's starting to do uh, a stand-up out there. I was like, are you sure? I mean, I know Corey's in New York. And then Julian told me, he's like, well, he's coming back later today. Um, and I'm, he's like, dude, he's always welcome to Toasties. That's what the fan base is called. Toasty's coming to the house and just like, you know, hanging out in the show and everything. As long as, you know, you respect the fact that we're on air. Don't talk over us. Don't try to butt in. Know like when to come in when we talk to you or like when is that opening? And it's like, okay, it's perfect for you to jump in and whatnot. I'm like, dude, of course. Like, you know, they have a thing called the fuck up club and it's a club of people who have been on the show and just try to like be a part of the show when they're not supposed to be. (laughs) I would have 
put tape over my mouth. That's how scared I would have been. No, kid, I would have sat there like this. I would have been too scared of it. I watched enough Double Toasted in my days to know, like, all right, just shut the fuck up, and you, you'll you know when to go in perfectly. And, like, uh, I was on the show, and they brought me on the mic, as you can see on the photo that I've been showing uh, on, on Great screen. Great photo. Um, I, they brought me on mic. They interviewed me for a little bit. If you want to go see it, it's you're going to have to go on their Twitch channel, uh, and it's just find their Saw X review. I come in about an hour into the when show. I cut when I cut this uh, when I cut this up into YouTube clips I will link this in the description below okay cool 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 yeah I got to um, I came in I, I just did like a little thing we joked around about like my career and everything everything that was said on the show by the way was a joke <laughs> like it was all <laughs> jokes we made fun of the fact that I'm working in government and government sometimes could be greedy and take money from people it was all jokes I swear to God I know I'm Italian it'll come out what you did <laughs> <laughs> You'll get that reference once you watch the clip. Uh, even though I'm Italian, I'm from Chicago and everything. Trust me, I want to serve the people as best as possible. Watch this be played like 20 years down the line and bite me in the ass. Um, Thoughts and opinions of Joe Vizu do not, respect, do not reflect the state of Illinois. They're going to ask Dom and Steve, you guys didn't know? <laughs> Paid for by Take It Back Pack. Um, so they brought me on and everything. And then throughout the rest of the show, I make like slight comments here or there. But it, like it's when I have like a perfect opening too. There, there's other like highlights you can see like in the Saw X review – there's just a moment where Corey's dog, who's like a little chihuahua, uh, just stopped in the middle of the floor and looked at me like this and just stared at me. And like just in the middle of the review, Corey stopped and he's like, I don't know why, but like Pixie was looking at Joe like she was about to put him his ass in a trap like in Saw or some shit. <laughs> 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 uh, and then like we joked around about that. Uh, and there's like a bunch of other stuff too. Um, but man Corey, julian martin whoever's watching this if you guys like see the tag and you're like oh shit it's that kid that was on our show thank you guys for inviting me over to the show it was a blast i had so much fun uh it was cool to witness that live you guys were very welcoming and even after the show just the little small talk we had uh it was really cool to like you know get to know you guys and everything i would love to come back out to austin and be part of the show again but uh, if you definitely come out to the Midwest once more and Chicago is the place you go, you damn right I'm going to be there at another live show. I didn't mean for that to rhyme at all. Like the very <laughs> the very little it did. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Double Toasted. Big heart to you guys. That shit was fun as hell. That was awesome, man. When you sent us that photo and stuff, I'm like, I swear to God, and I don't ask this much. I feel like I'm a pretty good judge, but I'm like, is this real? <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, like, I, I told people, I texted. There's no buildup or nothing. You just sent us a screenshot of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, It was I... like, this is the best damn Photoshop I've seen in my <laughs> life. Joe, it's getting a little desperate, but no, it was real. <laughs> it was effing real, and I... I almost screamed at work when I saw that. I was phone. I was watching it at work and I'm like, and I swear I'm in like my studio, so I got the door closed and everything, but I'm watching this and I'm like, holy shit, he's talking to Corey. <laughs> like, it's like, surreal. It's surreal. It was, it's like it I, I I'm the newest one of the three of us, and I've been watching them since like twenty sixteen. <laughs> so like yeah. Oh, crazy, dude. It that's, was it, that's it was crazy. It was a uh it was a very crazy time. Um like it just just it was surreal too like it was just like holy shit i actually got to be on the show because like seeing them live in chicago i've gone to both of their chicago shows and i talked to them for like a little bit but it's like they meet so many people that night they're not gonna remember me and everything but to actually make like an impression with them and get to know them that like if i were to go out there again will they remember me i hope so if not they'll probably vaguely remember me because of how many fans they've interacted with over the years i mean for god's sakes two nights later they brought on another fan and on their sunday show another guy came on it was like i started like a chain reaction people were like oh shit i can go on the show again the uh, chat was very kind to you too they were yeah the chat was super kind to you they're like they've got a really it really seems like they've got a solid group of fans they do yeah. like a solid group it's of a good entertaining community. entertaining respectful mostly mature but fun having like people with brains in their head actually like <laughs> yeah. these guys honestly uh, double toasted for like because you know we do our own movie review podcast double toasted taught me it's like hey uh, don't tread the same ground over and over again. Try to say something in your reviews, and that's what yes, I, that's yeah. what I try to aim for in our reviews. So honestly, very inspiring crew, and honestly, the yeah. community on YouTube. I mean, YouTube was a little bit of a downgrade, of course, as always, but they've been real nice. Because I don't know if you saw the comments, Joe. Um, th there aren't. Th I don't know. There, I don't think there are I'm any much, comments much on there about on you, except for one. 
Did you see my comment? On, on YouTube? Yes, I posted a comment on the YouTube thing, on the Saw X review, and I put, well, I, I, I don't know if you can see it right now, but uh, okay, <laughs> I'll just say it. I put, okay, I put, okay, but anyone else think the NIU salesman was cute? <laughs> Like I put that on there and it got nine upvotes. It got nine hey! thumbs up. Nine thumbs up. Dude. Hey yo, those nine people hit me up. I'm still single, unlike these two. <laughs> you, you'll probably have to scroll down a bit, but it's it's there. It's there, That's man. That's funny. I didn't watch it on uh I didn't watch it on YouTube. I didn't watch it on YouTube. Um, but I did see it on Twitch. Yeah. But anyways, man, uh, yeah, it was a great time. Um, I, I hope to be going on there again at some point. I mean, I doubt it. It felt like it was like, man, this is not going to be an often thing. It will probably happen again. I don't know when the next time I go out to Austin. It is like one of my favorite cities to go, go to in the United States. But it's like, man... I've been there four times in a row already. I kind of need a break from Austin. <laughs> every time every time you appear, you should be in a new level of government. So like by the <laughs> sixth... The sixth time you're 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 President. on the show, you should be like the mayor of Evanston or some shit. Like <laughs> my final appearance, I'm running for president of the United States. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was awesome to see though. Check it out. I'll have the video posted when we when I cut this up for YouTube, uh, YouTube clips and stuff like that. I'll have the video linked in the bottom of the description and stuff, the cool. Twitch video. Hi and I'll timestamp it as well. Highly recommended, dude. Very jealous of you, but it really cool. They say don't meet your heroes, but it seems like your heroes are pretty sweet to you. Dude, I was so afraid. Like, actually, on the on the Uber ride there, I was like, "Oh shit, man! What if like they're not nice?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, don't, don't meet your heroes is the saying. Yeah. Don't meet your heroes. Yeah, first. that's what they say. So like, you know, you got lucky, and you seemed like you had a great time, man. So, yeah. kudos to you. 